Okay, dollars and pints have a linear relationship. This is the following sign. It says four pints for $15, and then you can buy six pints for $23. How much would one pint cost? Now, at first glance, you'd say, okay, if four costs $15, I could take 15 divided by four, and each part pint would cost $3.75. But the problem with that is 23 times 6 does not give you the same amount. So to find how much one pint cost, okay, you would want to make a table because it's a linear relationship from a story problem. And you would want y to be your dollars and x to be your pints. The dollars are a function of the pints and y is a function of x. Now, you're just going to put 4 and 15 and then you're going to put 6 and 23. Now, finding the cost of one pint can be found with the y minus y, x minus x formula. You're finding how much the, the dollars increased and then dividing it by how much the pints increased by. It's really going to be 8 divided by 2, but I'll show my math here. So you start with your higher x. You put 6 with 23 and then 15 with 4. So it's 8 divided by 2, and that's 4. So the rate for that is per pint, $4 per pint. So then one pint costs $4. Okay. All right, next one. Dollars and months have a linear relationship. This is the following sign. Three months for $122, seven months for $218. How much is it for just one single month? So again, you, can't, you are not going to just divide because 122 divided by 3 is that. 218 divided by 7 is something different, okay? So that isn't going to work, okay? So we make we dig, do a little bigger deeping. Linear relationship means we would make a table, dollars and months. So we know 3 months goes with $122. That's like an XY coordinate. Then 7 goes with 218. Now to find how much one month would cost, that means how much... You know, where would we be after the eighth month? How much would we go up every time there's a month? Okay, and that's y minus y, x minus x. So it'd be seven, and then two eighteen, and then three one twenty two. Really, if you don't want to, if you're not big into the formula, you can just find out how much the dollars went up by subtracting, how much the months went up by subtracting, and then dividing, which is essentially what the form, what we're doing on the formula. So that's 96 over 4. Okay. So 96 divided by 4 is 24. So every month costs $24.